Hello everyone. In this, from this video, we are going to start a new series on Spring Boot GraphQL. Now, this is the series for you if you have the fundamental knowledge of Java programming language and fundamental knowledge of Spring framework and a little bit working with how to build the RESTful APIs with Spring Boot. So, GraphQL is very much in demand in industry and it is very much used for various applications. Uh, it has various usages and advantage over the tra traditional RESTful APIs. So, we, in this series, we will learn about GraphQL in detail. Okay, especially we will focus on the fundamentals and we will go and touch some advanced topics too. Okay, so to understand what is a GraphQL, let's go to the documentation of GraphQL itself to get an idea. So if we go to the documentation, it says a query language for your API. So it states that GraphQL is a query language for APIs and a runtime for fulfilling those queries with your existing data. So basically, GraphQL is a query language, most of all, okay? You can do a lot more than just querying the data, but it's primarily focused on uh, or primarily used in those applications where uh, there are lots of queries you want to ask and there are lots of uh, customized query you want to create, okay? In that cases, GraphQL is the best solution rather than RESTful APIs, okay? So GraphQL provides a complete and understandable description of your data in your API, give clients the power to exactly to ask exactly what they need and nothing more, making it easier to evolve APIs over time and enables powerful developer tools. So what it means that whatever you require, it gives you that much data only. So suppose you have uh, to query a table, okay? or you want to apply joins to two table and fetch the data and whatever the call there may be suppose 10 columns coming after uh, applying the joins now you only want the data of five columns you don't want data for rest of the columns so if you use restful approach if you build a rest api based approach what will help uh, what will be there that whole data will come and to customize you have to write a lot of logic on yourself and that will be very much complicated to do you can do but it will be super complicated but if you use graphql you have to do nothing because everything graphql whatever graphql uh, is built on it does it for you itself so that makes graphql more powerful in terms of uh, querying the exact data that you want okay you can customize your queries you can query whatever you exactly want so here is a simple syntax that they have given okay and i would recommend you to uh, visit this graphql.org website and get a read this documentation okay at least these things so you will get a basic idea about what it's all about okay so in this tutorial we will understand everything about graphql okay so let's see what we need to uh, do to get started so first thing first we need since we will be doing using uh, java programming language so you of course need jdk now if you don't know java if you have any you want to or you want to refresh your java knowledge then Currently on our channel, uh, there is a playlist, you can see here, uh, currently there is a playlist, Java Course 2023, where we have created till 30 videos and you can, from beginning, uh, you can start learning it, you can, if you don't have JDK and you want to install it, how to do it, you can uh, refer to this video and you can learn the Java programming language from here, okay, or you can get a, a refresh of it. So this is the first step that you need to have. You should have understanding of Java programming language. You should have installed JDK 17. You should have one ID, whether it is IntelliJ idea 
whether it is spring tools suit or eclipse id or vs code everything is fine okay here in this course we will be using intellij idea community edition so community edition will be good enough if you have a ultimate license that is best you should use i would say you should definitely use that i am not using ultimate because a uh, lot of us don't have the ultimate so if i do something on ultimate maybe you all will not be able to catch up to that maybe so i am preferring the this uh, free id that is intellij idea community edition okay and to build the spring project we will be using this website start.spring.io so i would paste the link in the description you can go to this website and we can create our spring boot project from here this is the website we will be using for creating a project from of uh, for our spring boot and graphql apis so this is the fundamental thing so let's start with the project okay let's uh, create a new project and all the new people who are new to the channel you can subscribe here like you can go through all these playlists where there are various topics if you like any topic you like you want more such topics you can put in the comments and more such topics will be coming up in the future so you can subscribe to the channel so let's begin with the uh, spring boot project so from project here we will choose uh, the build tool as maven language as java spring boot we will have latest stable version that is 3.1.2 from uh, group i would prefer something like dev dot solution so this is a uh, simple one or maybe let's not put this dev dot graphql much better so that it is more makes sense uh, artifact id uh, we will be using something like uh, uh, we will create a data a table of movies okay so we will be building movie api so movie api for description you can just write spring boot and it is a graphql project it is optional whether you want to write or not and for this tab dot graphql is fine for us okay this is the package name i would prefer uh, i have jdk 17 installed so i am choosing jdk 17 remember that if as we are using spring boot 3 and above so the at least jdk 17 is the base jdk required for spring boot 3 any jdk which is 17 or above is fine so you can either choose 17 or 20 don't choose 8 or 11 it will give you errors now coming to dependency so let's start with web so spring web then we will say graphql so spring for graphql third we will be using jpa okay uh, so that we can use hibernate and the database we will be using is postgres and one more thing for our entity classes we need lombok dependency to also so these are the five dependencies that we will require so you can once again check on that what we have selected project build tool as maven language as java spring boot version is 3.1.2 whatever spring latest stable version is there you can choose that okay if you are watching a video later it's fine a new version can come you can choose that there is a backward compatibility and group id is dev.graphql artifact is movie api package name you, you can give on your yourself i would prefer group id and artifact combined would be a good one version is 17 or above you can choose whatever it uh, is available at that time and these are the five dependencies that you have to select web graphql jpa postgres and lombok click on generate it will ask for the location so i have one folder spring boot projects here i will just save my project so it is saved here now i'll go to this directory right click on it extract all and click on extract we will get a extracted file we can now delete this zip file okay no more of use we can go inside and we can see here that we have this project structure go to intellij idea open it click on open here will be the option of open if you have fresh install of intellij idea 
nothing will come here okay so i'll just remove it and just show you if you have some projects then here open option will come if you don't have any option then not something like this will come so just click on open go to d drive or whichever location you have and click on this one don't click on the first folder click on second folder the folder inside the first one that is our actual project folder and then select okay trust project and it will take some time to load the project get all the dependencies and do a complete setup so let's wait for some time okay so now the project is set up we are good to go so this is our project structure okay this is our project structure we have our application ready project ready now they are when you go to resources folder you will see there is one uh, folder known as graphql so in this graphql folder we will create our graphql schema okay we will talk about that later as we slowly progress we have application dot properties dismiss here so in application dot properties i would prefer that you refactor it rename it and change it to yml it will be easier to work with yml now i'll paste some um, properties that is required here you can copy it but for that you need a postgres in your system so i would prefer that you should also have a postgres uh, postgres postgres sql if you go to if you search postgres sql you'll get the first website as the website of the postgres sql just uh, click on here downloads click on windows so once you come to here window installers here is the option download the installer so just click on this download the installer you'll see there is various packages here so select the latest postgres sql version 15.3 and click on here download okay your download will start you can then just click on the file and then do next 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 it will ask for the password so just set up your password uh, remember it whatever password you have given because it will be useful always so just keep a simple password okay that's it once you have downloaded you will get a postgres also pg admin if you search for pg admin you will get a web interface actually you have to download pg admin so uh, you can click on pg admin download and come to here download pg admin here we can just click on windows and download the latest version once you click on this latest version you'll get this web interface now when you click on here it will ask for your password so you just have to enter the password that you have entered initially uh, during the installation click on ok everything will come up now i have one database here created movie db you can also create just uh, right click on this postgres sql 15 or there will be a option of databases click on create database create the name of your database click on save a new database will create okay so this movie database is there currently if you scroll down and come to tables so no tables are there since we have not created anything okay so that's all for this whole setup project setup now let's uh, put some properties here in the yml file so I, I am just copy pasted this from my one of the previous projects that I was working on. Uh, that was an e-commerce project, but let's remove that database and write movie db. Okay, uh, let's confirm. Okay, movie db is the name of the database, right? So this is how you have to write, and password is one two three four. So this is the configuration for JPA to set up your database and your uh, JPA Hibernate this is what is required this is optional show sql show sql just for showing whether what queries are being run in the background and this one format sql so it will do a format and in our readable format so that we can understand in a better way now just below the just jpa just on the same uh, line of jpa you have to write graphql then graphql then enabled equal to true this property is extra that you have to write why you have to write this because there is a special tool called as graphql okay which is used to uh, used for testing the graphql apis so we need this tool and by default it is disabled so we need to 
enable it by making enable as true that's it so this much is the setup for this project now from the next video we are going to start uh, developing our schemas or how we will create a new class which will define our models how we will map those models and create a mapping with the graphql schema we'll learn about that in detail so that's it for now hope to see you in the next video till then bye bye